Hey guys, Mark here again. All right, um, in this lesson, a little bit more advanced, but not too difficult. All right, and not you don't really have to be a um, HTML or a CSS code reader or whatever to do this. Um, just some simple things to do, uh, kind of how I taught myself, and I'm going to show you how to, how I do it. Um, in this, what I want to do here is just for all the different colors that are here. I I don't you know. The functions, you've got to actually figure out how to change this. Now, I want to try and change this to red, just to kind of give it a bit of balance in here. All right. So what I have to do in order to do that is um, go into the CSS style sheets. So um, for many of you, you might not know what is style sheets. Well, I'll give you a quick example so you can see it. And I'm sure a lot of you that um, have seen this funny code and you're like, what is it? You're going to go under Appearance, sorry, I just jumped to get ahead there. Under Appearance, go down to Editor, all right, and you see all this code. Well, okay, there's tons of different template pages. What you want to do is scroll down to the back end here, and you look for Style Sheets. All right, now if you remember in the very beginning, the style or background of the theme color that I chose was white. So I'm going to go to the bottom here to the Style Sheet White. All right. Um, okay, great. Now, what I'm looking for, I'm not wanting these these numbers at the back here. All these little funny codes. This is just basically the colors. All right. And let me show you. If you go back to under appearance, go to your theme options, which will come back to this page. Um, and what you want to do is scroll down to colorization. And this is just to help you out so that you can choose whatever color shade you like. Now, if you notice down at the bottom over here, let me just zoom in there. You're going to notice that there's code. So as I move the pointer around, you're going to see the numbers and alphabet and everything change up. Well, that's the number that we're looking for. So if I go back, uh, sorry, if I go back to my page, I want to do a red. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to push this to the best red that is closest, which is there. I'm going to scroll down and it's FF. So what I'm going to do is click in there, uh, copy it. That's the red I want. <laughs> All right. Now, before I um, start putting these numbers in, what I encourage everybody to do so you don't mess this up, open up a text document. I'm just going to put type in red and copy that code just like that. All right. I'll go back and gra go back to the beginning now. All right. Now, for me to double check and make sure I don't make any mistakes, what the area that you want to go down to, I'm not doing the header, current menu, I'm not doing these are all just search areas. The area that we're looking for is categories. All right. And here's the last color here. So, what I do is I'll take that code there, I'll just test it. I'm going to copy it. Before I, now that I copy I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to come back here and I'll just paste it there just in case. All right. Pull it back up again. All right. Now let me go over to the template there. And what I want to do is I'm going to delete that code there and just paste in the new code. Well, that gives me that green. So that to me, that looks like this green here, right? It's the same green. That, so I'm, I'm going to guess that that's correct. So what I'm going to do is delete that there. I'm going to come back to my page over here. I'm going to copy the red. I will swing back, sorry. All right, over here. Now control, I'm going to paste that number back in there. I'm going to come down to the bottom. All right. Save, update that file. All right. And let me go back here, yeah, sorry. And I'm going to refresh and let's see, this should go red. There we go. So it went red. Now there's one more. Now I've got to figure out which one that is. So let's go back and let me go down to uh, categories again. And I'm going to find out which one that is right now. Just bear with me one sec. I know where it is. Oh, went to the wrong page. Sorry about that. I went to my Photoshop thing. Uh, this is the code that I think I have to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that real quick. And we're, what we're trying to change is this other darker, darker green. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to copy, just delete that older code there. 
paste in new one. Yep, that's the dark green. It's got to be that one. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is come back here. I'm going to copy that red over here. All right, I'm going to shoot back. Go back to the, that one there. Delete that. Paste that in. Scroll down. Save and update that file. And we go back here and refresh. Hopefully the middle lesson one is red. There we go. That easy. Not too hard. Uh, just for those of you, the ba the main thing is, guys, um, if you really um, are not sure what you need to do, or what I recommend is uh, just basically take your entire file, just copy the entire file, go in and paste it into a document and just save it so that if you do make some mistake, you can always just go back to the original, all right? Uh, that's the safest way and the easiest way to do it. And that's how I pretty much figure things out. All right. I uh, hope that was helpful.